guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title we are doing an updated get ready with me guys my last update my last get ready with me i looked crazy my makeup didn't look good my hair looked crazy none of you guys want to tell me in the comments <laughs> i'm joking i mean i feel like um youtube is a journey and um you know not all, not all times we're gonna look amazing i mean with me i think especially with the makeup and the hair stuff i've it's always been trial and error and i hope i'm getting better like even with my hair girl guys i've got i've been learning everything from youtube and tiktok i've got no sisters and mum is not really into makeup and hair like that so it's always been like i've got outsourced and arcs you know what i mean but i had to private that video that video got like 90 views i know that's not a lot to some people that's a lot to me and i was like I look terrible. My makeup routine looks terrible. What's so crazy? I've done makeup so much better than that before. So I don't know what on earth was happening that day where I thought that looked good, that wig looked good, that makeup I was doing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm rambling. Um, but yeah, so grab a snack, a wine, whatever you need. Watch this while you're cleaning or what you got to do. Guys, I'm sorry about the setup. My bed's in the back. Um, I'm literally changing my covers, so it's in it's literally i'm going to do that after i do my makeup um but yes i hope you guys are good so yeah grab them come on back and i'll see you in a tick this this that this this that shit that gets you going hell of smoke we blowing on the screen or in the flesh we glowing so guys um yeah so so now with my makeup update and makeup routine is i start i i did it before which Probably one rule number one where my makeup wasn't looking great. But I actually um, put soap, I think it's like soap brows. Like I make sure that my brows are in line basically. Before in that, oh guys, I can't get over that video. When I watched it back, I said, I really uploaded this looking this crazy. Guys. <laughs> but anyway, yes, yeah, so I do my soap brows. I, I use this one from Revolution. Um, I haven't used any other soap, soap brow before, but so far so good. I know some people use wax, that gummy wax on their brows. Some people use um, got to be gel, but this is the first one I've used them. It's it's good. Like I feel like my brows have dramatically <laughs> improved, guys. From the last time, my eyes were looking like I don't even know how you describe it. They were just they were looking very blocky, very 2014 blocky. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so while I'm doing this, um, I thought I'd also talk about like, this is, I'm going to do another video about with like advice to my younger self, but while we're here, you might as well also talk, have a little girl chat. Um, I think one thing I've learned when it comes to dating is if someone shows you who they are, believe them. Believe them. Don't don't think, oh no, it's just, you know. I mean, of course people can change, don't get me wrong. But meet them at that change state. Don't think you're gonna you're gonna change them, basically. I think that's a my Angelo quote. Something about yeah, anyway, I think that's a my Angelo quote. Don't don't quote me. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um if you see if you see something that you're not that you don't feel like you want to see your partner then i would really like you know really take that in because i feel like dating is for you to get to know the person to decide if you want to be with that person dating is not you're with the person does that make sense what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is that a lot of times i feel like you can date multiple guys like i used to feel like oh you're going to have to date one person at a time and you know if you date multiple when i say dating i don't mean like sleep with the person I actually mean just talking to people talking to people and i will say it's, it's i feel like especially in this generation the, with this it's so easy to talk to people i think that's what um is harder it's like everybody wants to talk to you well you know what i mean you you're a fine ass girl i mean but you have to understand what are they talking to you for is it for the downstairs or is it for up here or if it's for both <laughs> because don't get me wrong i mean some people are very you know you know, you know it's, it's not wrong to have that, that sexual drive but i think for the right person you know what i mean not just any tom dick and harry as they say so yeah so now i am 
gonna prime my face. So I just did my brows, and if you can see, um, my vanity is here. Um, so now I am going to prime. Sorry, I was thinking, what am I doing? So I've got semi primers. So this one, the Fenty Beauty one, this one is cute. Um, I I try to like overly moisturize the places that I feel like I'm gonna crease. So like my smile lines and like underneath. Cause I've got deep set eyes, I don't know if that's a thing, but I feel like, yeah, anyway, so I just do it kind of under my eyes and here, like I really moisturize, so yeah, and then I've got this one, this is, um, this, this, this has got SPF in it, I, said, I think it has, I'll put the information down below, but then I go with this one as well, close the mouth. <laughs> Things I do to prime because I realize when you have really nice moisturized skin, like the makeup just goes in so well. Okay, and then um, lastly, well, the last moisturizer I did before I actually use a primer is the skin food. You know, I use this everywhere. I use this on TikTok. I use this every god that works. So I use a lot that much because I've already moisturized quite a lot. Like I said, I kind of really focus on the places that I feel like I'm going to crease um but you know I really get in there I like your skin routine guys you feel like my, my skin has got I've been breaking out guys it's also because I've been having a lot of fast food but I've also changed my skincare regime which I think I made, might need to go back to what I originally was doing you know when you see everything on TikTok you're just buying 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 that was me guys that was me so yeah um you see Moisturizer, I got like one big spot here. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so that's me. That's me. All oh, moisturizer, I feel really thick. It's really thick right now. And then of course, you know the hype, the OG, the primer of all primers. And actually, I've never tried the milk one. They say this is the Jeep for the milk primer, but um, this one's quite good. So I'm gonna do that. Put my hand, and then put it on. Tap, 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 tap. I heard people say don't rub in it too much so that it stays quite sticky, but anyway. But yeah. Yeah, so now I'm gonna carve up my eyes brows. Um so I use of course the LA Pro like before, and then also I use a lighter shade. This is number 17. I'm not sure if this is on boots or super drug, but I just use the light one underneath and then this still light but over. And I also kind of take it down to my eyes just to prep it. Cool. So, yeah. So, like I was saying, also, I think as well, what it regards to me, as I'm more, I make, well, I keep saying, I'm, when I say I'm in, in the, well, I don't even understand what I'm saying. Basically, so me, in terms of my dating life, guys, um, not that I'm in the entertainment industry. I am. I mean, I'm a dancer, as you can see. But I feel like, so I kind of I feel like I get to see a lot of the behind the scenes when it comes to the entertainment, and like my I used to be like, wouldn't date anyone in the industry, you know, just because the things you see, sometimes the people you talk to, you know, it's just like it's a lot. Like look at look at you, you don't see what happened with Jada Wada, Summer Walker, and that's and it's quite, it's one thing having a relationship, but it's another thing when it's on a like public platform. Because people have opinions. Opinions! Like, you know, and um, there's so many people that are in your relationship. But they're also, it's so it's so weird because me, you know, like I said in like, my last Get Away With Me, if you watched it, hopefully you did. I love love. Like, I love love. If anything about me, I love watching it. I will subscribe to a couple's channel. I'll be the first one to be like, boom. Because there's nothing more in the world. Like, there's nothing better than love. There isn't. Like, I think sometimes it's just what we're put on the earth to do. You know? Love. Honestly, sometimes we complicate a lot of stuff and it's just to love one another. But yeah, so I'm just putting this line out. As you can see. Um, and then I'm going to blend. So I literally did my eyebrows. Um, I did my eyes. I'm just finishing my eyes. My eyes take ten thousand years, and you guys don't want to be here for ten thousand years. Um, so yeah, hopefully. But yeah, I did a little um, what do you call this? 
a glitter moment. I haven't normally I just do a nude, but I don't know why because I got this new Huda Beauty palette. And when I tell you this Huda Beauty palette is so good, like the pigment pigments, the eyeshadows are very like creamy. And like I've never had that before. I've been I've got this uh, Morphe palette. It's good, but this Huda it made me realize that because I used to think I just, this is what I say. Sometimes you got experience other things, so you so you don't you know challenge your mind. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that um, I thought every eyeshadow palette is probably the same, like the drugstore and high end. Because some of these makeups like they'll be like 50, 50 pound or sixty pound, and you're like you get in the drugstore for like 10, 20 pound. Um, but no, prove me wrong. Like this one is so it's really good. Like. Really, like creamy like i wouldn't think that i should be creamy and that might sound weird but i don't know it's like soft maybe creamy is the wrong word but yeah so i'm just having an eye the moment um but yeah so yeah okay um so we're back with the girl talk another thing that i would say um to do when it comes to dating is um Make sure that you understand yourself before you get involved with someone else. When I mean that, like, you know, if someone takes you to go, takes you out, and you're like, you've never been to that place, or I don't know, I maybe, maybe I don't know if I'm playing this properly, but you don't want to be the guy for the experiences he can take you. Does that make sense? You want to be the person because of how he makes you feel and how he treats you, but it's but I mean that shouldn't be the end or be all. Does that make sense? Because I know some people would be like, I'd rather be crying in a belly than crying at home. <laughs> like, you know, there's more, there's literally like, you can do it for yourself. So, I mean, I mean like, everybody wants a man that's financially stable and, you know, and caring and stuff. But don't let that be the be all and end all. That's what I meant to say. Oh, sorry guys, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Another tip for dating. Um, also, I wouldn't advise dating that ice. If it, I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> I think I said that before, but I'm re emphasizing it. Don't. <laughs> I say that, and you're going to be like, but you're man. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to skip over that part because maybe we'll, maybe, we'll maybe we'll do a QA. We'll do a QA one day. A couple's channel. Not couple's channel, a couple um, video. Anyway, that is beside the point. Um, so yeah, so now I finished my eyes. I know it looks crazy. I went, hopefully I won't look as bad as I did in that video. Guys, I can't get over that video. Cannot. So now what I do is I put my foundation on. So I have to, I mixed the L'Oreal True Match Paris and then also my NARS. I think it's thick. Oh gosh. Um, so yeah, I mixed these two and then, um, yeah, mix these two. Um, I literally got a new brush set, so I'm so happy about it. But can you imagine? I got a new brush set, and the 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 handle broke, but I can't return it, so I gotta do what it do. So I just literally mix it on the back of my hand just like this. This one's literally running out, but I don't need that much. But yeah, it's literally running out. But we're going to use every part of this product. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we did that and then oh gosh. Oh these ones I don't know, I feel like anyway. So I mix the back of my hand like this and then I'm gonna blend. I'll list all the products down below. So I blended in my foundation, as you can see. I sprayed a bit of um, Adam Decay just to set it. Um, so now I go in with my concealer. Where is my concealer, guys? Oh, here. And yeah, what I will do as well. So yeah, so I, of course, put it here. I'm not sure if I'm looking over here. I'm going to tease it here. But yeah. Okay, so another girly advice is <sighs> focus on you for a period of time and pull your cup before you pour anyone else's cup. 
that's what I would say. You know, the same way you're at a, um, when, they, when you're on the plane and they say, put on your mask before you help others. That should be applied in all walks of life. All walks of life. Because for a long time, I was, it wasn't that I was, I was just, yeah, I was. I thought that if I help enough people, they'll help. Okay, that's probably the wrong way to say it. If you help people, people will help you. Don't get it twisted, they will. But you first have to help yourself. And if you help yourself, you'll be able to help so much more people. Which I wish I realised so much earlier in my life. So much earlier. Like, focus on yourself. Whatever you want to do. Like, get your business up. Get your, your house, your car. Get everything solidified before... You want to go out with your friends or go here or have these experiences because having these experiences when you haven't got anything t to give, it, it doesn't feel the same. Trust me. Trust me on that. I'm so sorry if the angles keep changing. It's because you're behind my table. So I'm trying to try out this new angle. Let me know what you guys think. If you like it, if you don't like it, I'm up for suggestions. So, yeah, so I let it sit for a bit. So I put... um. I put underneath my eye, um, on my nose here, and then, as you saw, my e.l.f. Uh, my e.l.f. concealer is a tad, I say it's a tad bit um, darker, but I don't think it is. Anyway, I put that under there. I thought it was darker, but it wasn't. I thought these, now that I'm seeing it, this is lighter than this. Oh my gosh. No, anyway, so yeah. So I do that, I let it sit for a while, and then I'm going to blend it out. Okie dokie. Guys, my foundation spilled in my... Oh, that's the only thing I don't like about this packaging. Oh, anyway. I'll clean it up later. So yeah, let it sit for a bit. Boom, 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 boom. But yeah. Um, and then we're going to blend it out. So I first go in with, like, a, is this a foundation? It's like a... Like a tip brush. And then we're going to blend it out. I suffer from like watery eyes, guys, sometimes. But I think also it's because of... I don't, it's only now I get allergic to things. Like you can be using something for like five, four years, like however many years. And it, you know, and one day you can just be allergic to it. So basically I'm allergic to bonding glue. Guys, yes. So I used to use that to um, put on my eyelashes. I used to think, every time I face my makeup on my lashes off, I used to cry and I'm thinking, why am I crying? Like, every time. I used to think, what is it? And I was like, and I was like, oh, it's the, it's the glue. So I stopped using the glue. My eyes are not as watery. They do tend to water, but not as much. Because I used, I was like, I used, to, I would, like I said, I've been using it for years. And like with me, once, it's once, it does its job, I'm going to keep using it, you know what I mean, if it gets the job done. But, so yeah, so now I'm actually to official, back, officially on um, lash glue, so I use Duo. Um, that's what I use. And yeah, it doesn't make my eyes water, but, so yeah, I was, it's so crazy because I used to use it for so many years, and it's only now that if I use it. Um, but people say you shouldn't be using bonding glue. It's literally not for your, not for your, um, your eye. Anyway, but I remember like back in the day, everyone was using it. So I was like, oh, like yeah, this will make your eyes just stay for a long time. Especially because with me, when I do my makeup as well, I mostly like I do shows, so I need this, I need everything to stick and stay. And yeah, it used to always like my eyelashes would not fly off, even though, guys. I realised that I'm not the best at putting eyelashes on. So, yeah. But, yeah, anyway, I'm improving. I'm improving, guys, so don't worry. But, yeah, so first, I, I, I um, go with this, and I'm going to go with a beauty blender just to make sure it's all smoothing out. But I go with this just to make sure that I get the full coverage that I want. Um, Like I said, I've got deep set eyes, so I tend to have to go in with two concealers under my eyes. I should really colour correct. I used to colour correct, but I don't do that anymore. But yeah, if I don't colour correct, I'll just go in with two concealers to make sure it covers the hyperpigmentation. So then, then I go in, yeah, all this blending. Blend, 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 blend. 
But yeah, let me come back when it's all blended. Okay. okay, so I'm back from my commercial break, guys. <laughs> so I blended out my foundation, the foundation, my concealer, and I set it with my Charlotte Tilbury um, press powder. Yes, amazing. So now I'm going to go with my NARS. Um, my friends are calling me. I've got to be able to get disturbed, unless they want to say hi. Um, actually, I probably don't want to say hi, but, but yeah, so I go with my NARS. Um, cream bronzer i think it's cream bronzer uh this 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 brush is very like soft so i i lost the brush that i really love doing this with but i feel like this kind of makes me not look too muddy because sometimes you know when you go in so hard it makes you look so muddy so yeah i just go in and make sure that i go in a seaweed motion <laughs> girl talk or advice that I would actually share is every morning without fail or the night before do a to-do list do a to-do list do it do it you don't want to be doing a to-do list at 10 or 11 a.m in the morning because do a to-do list before you go to bed do it or first thing in the morning I mean after you pray but Having an agenda, even if it's on, I mean, if you're going to school, of course, you know your agenda, most likely what you're getting up to, but especially, especially those people that work nine to fives and want to, not want to do that nine to five anymore, I would say your Saturdays and Sundays, they can really just go like that. So if you haven't got an objective of what you're going to do the next day, your day can literally be taken, taken by a phone call, taken by, you just want to sleep. I mean, of course, rest is important. But that's what took me a long time to figure out. Like, you know, when you go to school, everything's planned out for you. Go to uni, most things are planned out for you. But once you leave, like, you need to honestly make sure you plan your day. So, yeah, I just go in for con con my contour as well on my nose. Like so. Like so. Well, guys, before I finish... Um, so after I do this, I'm gonna set it. This one, this baking powder, terrible, terrible. It it like sits on the skin, and it's so hard to remove. So I would not advise this. I even need to throw this in. Like I saw it and I said, oh, banana brightening baking powder. I thought, oh, they they know what the color is nice, guys. No, it will stick to your skin. People will look look at you and be like, what is that on your skin? I mean, of course you have makeup on, but. It literally emphasizes your pores, everything, guys. So I do not advise it. Don't advise it at all. Um, but yeah. And there we go. So then, yeah. So I blend out my contour. Mm. After this, that's when I bake. So I have my Sasha Buttercup. There's not much in it, guys. You no, know I need to get. I need to get the Laura Mercier. Like, a makeup artist used Laura Mercier on on me, and my makeup was chef's kiss. So, but for right now, we're going with the um, satin bottle cup. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna use a beauty blender just to put it up, and then go perfect like this. No problem, no problem. Perfect. There we go. Put it on all the points I want to want to stay highlighted throughout the day. But yeah, hopefully <laughs> I've improved since the last makeup to get ready of me. Guys, when I saw that, I said, is that me? Like makeup can really help shape your face or like really, it could just, it can really, like makeup is red, there to emphasize your face and you know, so... And if you don't know your features, you can really get it wrong. And I got it wrong that day. I was like, what the? Anyway, but yeah, so that is me here. I like to put a lot on because I just don't know why. There we go. Anyway, that's the Sasha Buttercup done. There we go. And then, of course, what I like to do is go in with Mocha Mama. Everyone tried and true bronzer my friend that she called me up the day is like i need that what did you have i remember she, she used my makeup one day and she, she was like this i need 
She was like, send me the link, send me the link. I was like, okay, girl. But yeah, it just, it just looks good on a lot of chocolate ladies. Just gives that warmth, which I don't think a lot of people talk about. Because I think when you put your foundation on, you're removing all the, sh the, the shadow and the dents. I don't know if I'm making sense. But yeah. So then I put on this. Like that. Perfect. And then also, I don't forget, go in and put it around my nose as well just to tie it in. Just a nice section. Because sometimes I feel like when some shades tie in with here, it kind of like makes it look a bit more cohesive. You know what I mean? So then, of course, I'm going with my cream blush. I love this cream blush. I put it here. Like so. On here. Oh my god, it's literally gonna go on my spot that's emerging. But yeah, like this. The thing about this, these I put a lot because I feel like throughout the day it tone get tones it down once it gets into your skin. So right now I might look crazy, but by the end of the day, it's fine. Right. Where I'm going tonight, um, it should look cute. It will look cute, girl. Don't worry about it, girlfriend. Okay, okay, anyway. Blend it out. Blend it out. As you can see, it's a bit more toned down. There we go. This is not my brush that I used to blend it out. I don't know where my brush is where we blend it out. Come on, come on. <sighs> but yeah, okay, anyway, that will do for now. So now I'm going to wait a little bit. And I'm gonna put on the so of, after a cream brush, blush, you always set it with a powder brush. That makes sense. Make sure you always tie it in there. Yeah. So cream blush, then powder brush to make sure. Uh, I forgot also. Make sure you set your where I crease so where is the I was doing your makeup and um filming it's also it's also a talent because you have to talk and concentrate because sorry then I just need to put on here as well because this is where I crease guys I know you're thinking a lighter colour but it'll be fine it'll be fine there we go so yeah, so then, yeah, like I said, make sure the cream blush, and this cream blush is really good guys, very primitive, and it's literally from the beauty supply stock store, it's only, it was only 2 99 amazing, amazing, sometimes, you know, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. So then, now, what do I do, I'm going to put my eyeliner on, so I actually got a new eyeliner, I normally use, um, the vital one from the hair shop but I'm gonna give Elf a try I was in there and they were doing three for two so I said bet I will be there three for two you don't have to tell me twice <laughs> so yeah let me do my eyeliner and I'll get back on camera hey guys so I'm back I know you're like girl you are done but yeah sorry my friend called me and then I was talking and I had to get ready and I have to leave in like the next 20 minutes so I was doing it while I was he was giving me some tea but yeah so um i literally put my lashes on um did actually i could do my combo again because it kind of came off um because i just had a little snack so i with this i literally overline my lips just like this as you can see um and then guys so i use like two lipsticks from Evolution, two lipsticks, yeah, two lipsticks. So I don't know the names. This one is Chauffeur. Let's do like a little bit of it, like that. And then I put these ones are really, really good actually. Revolution did their big one on this. Um, it's their lip cream, and uh, I have put them in the center like that. Uh, I can't. I can't even speak on it. I kind of blend it out with my fingers as well. 
And then if it's too ashy, like right now, I go in with, oh, where is this from actually? Oh, this is the collection. You know the collection. To be this is, and it just, it just gives it a little more pinkish sheen. And then I, uh, but I think with this, I think sure that it's like a lot of, there's a lot of products just to get this one colour. My friend was like, we need to make this shade and sell it. You never know, maybe. Maybe. You guys, I was eating and then... I love some of my foundations, but yeah. Uh, this is like a reddish brown. And this is like a brown brown. Alexa, stop. My Alexa told me I need to go. Um, Sorry. I didn't find a group or device named heating. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah. And then I've got this gloss from e.l.f. It's supposed to be a lip pumping gloss. It's not the best. Like, you know there's a gloss that like a... Can you see? And then yeah, that's her lip colour. And then... I think, you know what the best trick is? Always when you finish, line up your lips. Line it up, because that's what accentuates. Also, guys, I was eating salsita. So, my foundation is just there. <laughs> ah, yeah. So guys, this is the finished look, my makeup. Hopefully it looks better than the last time I did my Get Ready With Me. I know this wasn't um, a full on like, showed you everything I did. If you want a more in-depth makeup tutorial, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just fix my hair, put some water on it. But um, I hope you enjoyed this impromptu um, Get Ready With Me. Um, if you'd like to see more make sure you comment like and subscribe i really do appreciate you if you got this far in this video i love you to the moon and back and i will see you very very soon okay um yeah i'm, I'm gonna do a girl advice video so i'll see the next one but yeah i hope you guys have a great day morning afternoon whenever you watch this okay um but yeah see you later my love is crazy, you are messy, girl, you are messy All I got them only really want to play me Don't want me to 